equatorial preference has to do with the fact that one of the two positions, remember that there's the axial position and there's the equatorial position, one of them is going to be much more crowded or what we call torsionally strained than the other. Now usually if you just have hydrogens in there it's not a big deal, but if you start adding bulkier groups in there it's actually going to affect it. Okay. So let's just look at the different positions. Remember we have our axial positions, they're going straight up and down with the corners. And remember that we have our equatorial positions going slightly opposite. Are you guys cool with that so far? And now let's imagine that I put different shapes here. So let's say that I just put a bunch of uh, maybe like green circles on the equatorial positions. And let's say that I put like some blue balls. Oh man, this just got really weird. Blue circles on the axial positions. That sounds like it hurts. So um, we've got these, these ones on the positions and I just wanna analyze the ones at the top. Let's just say that we look at this blue circle, this blue circle, and this blue circle versus this, um, green circle, this green circle, and this green circle. Are you guys following so far? In fact, let's go ahead, you don't have to do this, but I'm just gonna erase the other ones so you guys don't get distracted. So you guys can really see what's going on here. See, so that's how clear I want it to be. So basically we've got our axial positions and our equatorial positions. Which of these do you think is gonna be the most spread out? And then which of them is, do you think is gonna be the most tight together? And it turns out, that it's gonna be the, the blue balls are like really close together, okay? So it's like awkward and stuff. Like you do not wanna be there, all right? On top of that, they're like sitting on sticks. It's terrible. So whereas the equatorial positions, they've got all this like room to spread out. It's awesome. Look how far apart they are, okay? In fact, if you wanna think about the equatorial position, it kind of looks like it's the equator of the earth. If this was like a big globe, the equatorial positions would be like on the equator. The axial positions would be like on the North Pole, all right? and the South Pole. So you don't wanna be stuck on the South Pole or North Pole. You wanna be like in paradise, like on an island drinking a Corona, okay? So the axial positions suck. That's what I'm trying to say. Especially when you put large groups there, you do not wanna be in the axial position. So what that means is that the ring is always gonna flip in order to accommodate the preference of the largest substituent. So in this case, I have a terp-butyl group. And that terp-butyl group can form, it can be on two different chairs. It could be on one chair that has it in the axial position, but any time that you flip a chair, you wind up flipping positions, okay? So if you flip your chair, you also wind up flipping positions. So now this would become equatorial over here, all right? So it goes from axial to equatorial. Which of these do you think is gonna be the most stable? And it turns out that it's gonna be way more stable in the equatorial position. In fact, over 99% of this compound is gonna exist in the equatorial position and less than 1% is gonna exist in the axial position. Why? Because the axial is so much more torsionally strained with these H's here. See, they're just bumping into each other. Whereas the, as the equatorial position is way better, okay? So as I just said, when chairs flip, remember that axials are always gonna become equatorial and equatorials become axial, okay? So anytime you flip, you're gonna be giving something in the axial position an opportunity to become equatorial. But you also have to change the shape of the chair as well. 